Hi guys, good afternoon. This is Mel. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. So ngayon, ang pag-aaralan natin ay tungkol sa routine and non-routine problems involving addition and subtraction of decimal numbers including money. Para sa ating learning task 2, solve the following problems. Write your answers in your notebook. Okay, so para sa ating problem number 1, the perimeter of a quadrilateral is 412 and 95 centimeters. If the three known sides measure 85 and 65 centimeters, 112 and 77 centimeters, and 85 and 26 centimeters, how long is the fourth side? So first, alam mo, alamin muna natin, what is us? Kung ano ba yung hinahanap ng problem natin? So what is ask is how long is the fourth side of the quadri quadrilateral? So gaano kahaba yung fourth side ng ating quadrilateral? Ano yung mga given facts? So ang given facts natin, first, there are three known sides which measures 85 and 65 centimeters, 112 and 77 centimeters, and 85 and 26 centimeters. At ang perimeter ng ating quadrilateral, ito yung pangalawang given fact, is 412 and 95 centimeters. So let's solve the problem. First, alamin muna natin, ano ba yung quadrilateral? Quadrilateral is a two-dimensional shape with four sides. So, yun ang quadrilateral. Is, isa siyang shape or two-dimensional shape na merong apat na sides. At ano ba yung perimeter? Perimeter is the length of the outline of the shape. So, kung ano man yung shape, yun yung kabuoang sukat. Dito sa uh, given example natin, since meron tayong quadrilateral, ibig sabihin, ia-add natin ang value ng four sides para makuha ang perimeter. So, ano yung mga uh, operation na gagamitin natin para ma-solve itong problem na to? Ang operation na gagamitin natin, first is addition. So, first, i-add natin yung mga given sides. So, tatlo yung binigay na sides or value ng sides. So, i-add natin siya from uh, right papunta sa left. So, um, 5 plus 7 equals 12, plus 6 equals 18, so that's 8, carry 1. And then, 1 plus 6 equals 7, 7 plus 7 equals 14, plus 2 equals 16, so that's 6, and then carry 1. And then, 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 2, 8, plus 5 is 13, so that's 3, carry 1. And then, 8 plus 1 is 9, plus 1, 10, plus 8 equals 18, so 8, carry 1, and then 1 plus 1 equals 2. Tapos, ia-align lang natin yung decimal point. Okay? So, since nakuha na natin yung value ng tatlong sides, that's 283 and 68 centimeters. Okay? Next, ay an uh, operation na gagamitin naman natin ay ang subtraction. So, binigyan tayo ng value ng perimeter which is 412 and 60, I mean, 412 and 95 centimeters. So, it, um, ididedak natin yung nakuha natin um, value ng tatlong sides which is 283 and 68 centimeters para makuha natin yung value ng pang-apat na side. So, that's 5 minus 8 cannot be. So, we have to borrow 1 sa 9. Para maging, so, yung 5 magiging 15, yung 9 magiging 8. So, 15 minus 8 equals 7. And then, 8 minus 6 equals 2. Tapos, lagyan lang natin siya ng decimal point. Next, 2 minus 3 cannot be. So, we will borrow 1 from 1. Yung 2 magiging 12, yung 1 magiging 0. So, 12 minus 3 equals 9. And then, 0 minus 8 cannot be ulit. So, we will borrow 1 from 4. Yung 0 magiging 10. 10 minus 8 equals 2. And then, yung 4 natin is magiging 3. 
3 minus 2 equals 1. So, ang sagot sa question na to, which is how long is the fourth side of the quadrilateral, would be the fourth side of the quadrilateral is 129 and 27 centimeters. Second question, I bought four items worth 39 um, pesos and 90 centavos. 68 pesos and 60 centavos, 58 pesos and 75 centavos, and 120 pesos and 25 centavos. How much change will I get from 500 peso bill? So, dito naman sa question na to, what is ask? Ano ba yung hinahanap ng problem? Ang hinahanap ng problem is, how much is your change? Magkano yung magiging sukli mo para sa 500 peso bill mo kapag binili mo yung 4 items? Yun yung hinahanap ng ating second problem. So, what are the given facts? Ang given facts natin, ibinigay sa atin na meron tayong first 500 peso bill. Yun yung unang fact. Pangalawang fact ay bumili tayo ng apat na items. At ito yung mga um, nagkakahalaga ng 39 pesos and 90 centavos, 68 pesos and 60 centavos, 58 pesos and 75 centavos, and 120 and 25 centavos. So, let's go ahead and solve the problem. First, what we need to do, or the operation that we need to use is addition. So, i-add natin yung value ng lahat ng items na nabili natin. At ang sagot dito ay 287 and 50 centavos. 287 pesos and 50 centavos. So, ang pag-solve uh, ng problem na ito or ng, uh, ng, ang pag-add ng ating mga decimal numbers ay same drill ng kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina which is from right to left. Okay? So, again, ang sagot natin dito is 287 pesos and 50 centavos. After that, Ang sunod na operation na gagamitin natin ay subtraction which is ididedak na natin sa ating 500 pesos ang 287 pesos and 50 centavos which is yung worth ng 4 items na binili natin. So, kung mapapansin nyo guys, syempre sa 500 wala siyang decimal number. So, gagamitan natin siya ng placeholder kaya maglalagay tayo ng dalawang zero. So, pag naglagay tayo ng decimal point, since this is a whole number sa 500, lalagyan natin siya ng dalawang decimal placeholder, which is dalawang zero. So, um, if you're going to subtract 500 to the worth of the four items, 287 dollars and I mean 287 pesos and 50 cents, then ang magiging sagot natin ay 212 pesos and 50 centavos. Okay? So, the answer to this particular problem would be my change is 212 pesos and 50 centavos. Okay? Next problem, a rectangle is 13.8 centimeters long and 9, point, uh, 9 and 7 centimeters wide. Find its perimeter. So, what is asked? Ano ulit yung hinahanap ng problem natin? What is the perimeter of the rectangle? Okay? At ano yung mga given facts? Binigyan tayo ng value na 13.8 centimeters long. Yung haba niya ay 13.8 centimeters. At yung kanyang lapad ay 9.7 centimeters. So, so, let's solve the problem. Para mas makita natin siya, uh, ano ulit yung perimeter, kagaya ng napag-usapan natin kanina, ang perimeter ay ang length of the outline of the shape. At ano ba yung shape na binigay sa atin dito? Rectangle. So, kung i-visualize nyo siya guys, ganito siya. Meron tayong rectangle. So, 13.8 cm yung haba niya. At yung lapad niya naman ay 9.7 cm. So, para makuha natin yung perimeter, kailangan natin i-add lahat ng sides. So, ibig sabihin, yung dalawa, ang dalawang side, ang value ay parehas dahil ito ay rectangle. 13.8 cm yung kanyang haba. Yun namang lapad niya, magkaparehas din. Again, kasi nga rectangle, 9.7 cm naman yung kanyang lapad. 
So to solve this, all we need or, or the operation that we need to use ay addition. So ang gagawin natin, 13.8 plus 13.8 plus 9.7 and 9.7. So, the answer would be 47.0 centimeters or 47 centimeters. So, the answer to this question would be the perimeter of the rectangle is 47 centimeters. Para naman sa ating number 4 question, OB and Dario hike 15.1 kilometers in one day. And 13.75 kilometer in the next day. How many kilometers did they hike in all? So, ano yung hinahanap ng question? What, I mean, ng, ng problem? What is asked? How many kilometers did they hike in all? So, what are the given facts? So, the given facts, number one, nung unang araw, first day, nakapag- uh, nakaakyat sila ng 15.1 kilometer sa day 1. Okay? Sa pangalawang araw naman, they were able to hike 13.75 kilometers. Okay? So, let's solve the problem. Ang operation na gagamitin natin ay addition. So, 15.1 plus 13.75, okay? So, um, um, on this uh, type of situation, guys, since addition naman ito, all we need to do is i-align lang natin yung decimal point. Kailangan pantay-pantay ang decimal point. So, 15.1, ipapantay natin yung decimal point sa 13.75, okay? So, pa, kung gusto nyo lagyan ng placeholder, pwede nyo lagyan ng, ng 0 sa kanan ng 1. Para maging parehas yung dami ng ating numbers or decimal numbers. So, that's 0 plus 5 equals 5. 1 plus 7 equals 8. And then, 5 plus 3 equals 8. 1 plus 1 equals 2. Tapos, ilagay lang natin ang ating decimal point. So, the answer to this question is, They hike 28 and 85 kilometers in all.